Damn, signs of foul play. Damn. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got Damn. bad guys to catch. Right Let's across the fucking street. The goddamn evidence. You see that bitch from the window? Anyways, what up, you guys? Welcome back to LA Noir. Where our boy Cole later, Phelps. Fellas. Try not to work too hard. Still? Like we'd be anybody else. Uh, we're gonna go fucking, fucking uh, solve this fucking case. We're gonna, I'm st the last video. I'm not even gonna lie. I was kind of fucking mad at the end of it. After I uh, stopped recording, I was just kind of mad. Cause we got all the questions right in that one case except for the last thing and I looked it up and I can't believe I fucking messed it up you're supposed to you're supposed to lie or press the lie option and then give the like use the the betting tickets or whatever Stop the fuck it was ahead. But yeah, I was a little mad about that. But whatever. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was Damn. anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. You want to take a look around? Start the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. Yeah. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. I mean. Hey, out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the corn, you'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. What? That isn't even the best part. Panties ripped up. Been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Yeah, do that. We could be dealing with one sick fuck. The a letter from her mother. She's a long huh? way from home. I want her to come home and a decent girl. Blah blah. blah. A letter just begging, begging for her to come home. Got it. Uh, what else we got? Plates to the car. Anything in the car? Oh, a little bit of blood. Probably when they hit her head. Like what they weren't flying out the, the window. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Oh, same thing, just from the other side. Okay. Oh, we didn't mean to do that. That... Is that everything? So what next? Now, this is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? 
Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. Movie prop. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Yeah. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Damn. Never the same. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. There she is. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? We don't You're know you, bitch. For a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. You got the well, Harry you, Potter June. lightning I'm a bolt in your head. I don't like. Keep out of this. Damn. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Hell no, that smirk on your face. We don't believe your ass. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Hmm. I think you know a little more about her. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? The torn underwear! Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened. A casting after couch, that, maybe. Her and Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember. Is getting behind the wheel. Liar! It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In You're a big case, movie I star. I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Hey. Mention to Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. No, we're the fucking police. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then this bitch trying it. to Fact is, get over on it. Deal. I pressed him on it. This is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good Itch. here.
Let's see what we can shake out of the kid. All right. Who said that? Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Get out of here. Officer, please. Tell me what's going on. Shut up. Get out of here. The cop from the newspaper. Thank you. 11 k We're on. En route. Oh, shit. That is definitely not the way to go. You know, we might need to let our, our buddy drive on this one. We do not know where the fuck we're going. And we're fucking up traffic. It's just like right down here though, right? Yeah. All right. Where the heck is she at? Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh yes. She's in the room, right behind you, detective. Will I get out of here today? Okay. You can't hold me here. Yes, we can. I don't need Feeling to be better since this morning, doctor. Jessica. I need my lawyer. Oh. Hey, my head where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Who is this bitch out here wilding? Can't take a look at that. All right. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Are you going to sign him out? He's 15. Jessica Hamilton. Can you tell Let's me see what, what you, you remember what you know. crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. You're lying, obviously. Something Tell happened. Truth, Jessica. Your underwear was Why ripped off. Cover up? I'm not lying to you. Your underwear was ripped off. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not For your real. fault. Yes, it is, girl. It's shut your mouth. Time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying. They want lying, you home. Jessica. They did not send you away. You lie to us. Please, detective, why would I lie to you? That's what we're trying to figure out. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How do you, How do you know Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Mm, you know him other ways. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken you head remember. the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? 
I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. You're lying about something else. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Man. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Bex. Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Girl. You're not getting no part in town. no movie for this man. We are bringing him down. What the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Another follow mission. Hopefully their car doesn't get stuck. Ballard is like that one. Up some go ahead, man. Get in front of us. But don't go that slow, damn. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Facts. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. My fault. Get out of the way. We're tailing somebody. I feel like we've been here before. Or in, around in this area. Get in there and see what she's up to. We did that smooth. She mad as fuck. Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the film? Sure, I got the film. That bitch was being loud. Well, I know y'all hear the ink spots in the background. Shout out to uh, Fallout. That's the only reason why we know that. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made no. a call. She made Sounds a phone like Mark call. Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, oh, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. 
McCarthy will break a fella's legs just for looking at his bra. What did you make of the kid? Damn. You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Yeah, facts. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Who knows? TGP Delta NE unit to 459, they're now at 267 South Main. Unit to handle code 2, identify. All okay. units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. KGPL clear. Oh shit. Take it easy. Gun it. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. You already know we are. You already know we are, big man. We're making our way. Oh what shit. Is? We're making our way there right now. Fucking up everything on the way. Now you pennies is hiding from me. I will find you all and eat you. Yes, sir. Damn. Why did you places have so much preparation age? <laughs> oh, we Benny's give me speed. We got a fucking drug addict robbing the robbing the pharmacy. He was in there looking for anything. Oh, don't climb up there, man. Get the hell down from there, you lunatic! We didn't want him to kick us and knock our hat off. Because you know they love doing that shit. Where are you going, my man? You really need to lay off you the pills. bastard! Bruh. All right. You really want to dance? Do it again. Oh, man. He said do it again. Get your ass up. We got to win a fight without them knocking our fucking hat off. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for it, but... That's besides the point. Another one down. You can drive. You're driving, bud. So Pretty sure they don't want me behind. She didn't stop for light refreshments. She sure. made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, you he'll be as far away from on home it. as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he's done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity. Damn, they're charging for the apartment. Department 8, calls. right? We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Appreciate it. Sure, Sounds like here. we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. I don't even know what that means, bruh. All I know is we're finna... We're finna crack this case, man. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, 
Come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather. Oh, the movie poster? Gay I, Cowboys. You I, see that right there right there? Thank you, officer. Looking like Brokeback Mountain. Is that Luke Wilson or Owen Wilson? See, let's have a look around the place. Irrelevant. Don't think this is anything. No, just a ring. I don't think none of that shit is relevant. Oh, that's probably really relevant. What do you have actually? to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Sell a bitch out and send her to the casting couch. Silver screen more. props. Hmm. Got anything else in there? Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. It's movie like set. Movie set downtown. Money. Doesn't appear to be connected. Seems irrelevant. I hate that they let you pick up it that's not even irrelevant. Or relevant, I oh the balloon room though. Good club. Oh, uh, just some books. Just some books. Block on the ground. I think that might be it. But there was something else like right here. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? Oh yeah. My husband, Mark, and There is the mermaid. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Okay, so Hopgood is the owner of the mermaid shop where they took the little girl to be casting couch. Drugged and I'm not even gonna say the word. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No, why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. You're lying. Don't believe you. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Pretty, pretty straight face right there. Not really looking around too much. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? 
Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Don't play fucking stupid with me. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You're making faces. Whenever you told the truth, you had a straight face. Didn't look anywhere. Your chin wasn't angled down like that. And you keep raising your fucking eyebrow. You're Jessica remembered the mermaid. Shit. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth We're is, here to clean it up! My husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Fucked up. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Use a telephone. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. All right, time to go to the fucking prop shop. Fuck that shit, we don't need nothing else here. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. So finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Yeah. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Damn, he's throwing shade. He said ain't none of them can act. You, sir, are an idiot. You know there's no one in this car, right? Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Facts. Officer needs assistance. 540 West 9th Street and Uncle Sam's Army Supply. 540 West 9th Street. Unit. Uh oh. Code to identify. Officer needs uh, assistance. Let's go help. We got a robbery or something. About? We weren't doing nothing. Y'all seen you little sons of bitches brawling around my store? I'll show you. I'll, I'll teach you not to. Sir, drop the weapon. You've been drinking, sir. You don't really want to. Three times I've been robbed. Ain't nothing gets done about it. Whoa. They don't give a Look fuck about boy. nothing. You're a bitch. Piling got it. 
You're a bitch. Eleven King calling KGPL. I've been involved in a shooting. Suspects are down. Need an ambulance to 540 West 9th Street. It's a code four. Notify a supervisor in the corner. Roger, 11K. All units be advised. Suspects are down at 540 West 9th Street. Shooting at Uncle Sam's. You know the way. You can drive. Code four. All right, here's the fucking mermaid. Who's here? Felton you. Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Let me take a look at this book right here. Usually them books should be having info for us. Prop warehouse. Got some stuff around here, my boy. Oh, you coming? A lot of backdrops. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Hmm. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. A big ass camera right there. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Hills right here, too. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Oh, I was trying to pick up one of the pills. Looks like the like the one Tiki had. There's alcohol and everything. It can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Uh huh. I don't want to start asking questions too early and shit, you know? Fuck it. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I think I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant and now you start throwing your weight around? Because of this. A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yes, you are. This is your place. Bruh. This is What's your the place. Deal with you and June Ballard. Look, buddy, I make props. 
I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Liar! You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Um... I want to say that's it. Right? Well, it's with Ballard, though. Sorry. Mm. You have to shake the tree to see what falls out. What made oh, Bishop no. change his mind about putting Ballard back into the picture? A bribe. What kind of bribe? Jessica Hamilton. <laughs> the room behind the mirror makes our case. We need to find a way in. Yo, this looking sus. There it is. There it is. And see, boom, there's that. Oh no. This is what we needed right here. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? That's their favorite. That was at the house too. if they saw this how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood facts we're gonna use an intuition point while we're here too show all the clues Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. That's where he gonna be at. He's probably at that big-ass movie uh, movie set they got now. Oh, and the shrunken head, huh? Why did it say this was a clue? Oh, this is the clue right here. Yeah. So this is where you sprang from. Oh, the newspaper. Oh, floods the street. Yeah, we're not gonna work. Uh. So he makes them, huh? Okay. I think we got enough to fucking bag them. Book them and took them. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. 
You're delivering props to Truth. jungle drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that, Mike. What the hell? Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't have the to fuck know the is guys that? who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is gonna get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only gonna warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in Facts. real terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Go ahead and say it. You got it, boss. That's exactly what they look like. Oh, I don't think they like your little pepper. Damn, what the hell? I need to be closer, Cole. What do you mean you need to they be really closer? Don't want anybody getting to before they do. Oh, we fucked up. Your ass in the car, man. We need to lose those fools, folks. Shoot him! Ah, oh, you're a dumbass. My partner is a dumbass. Oh, and the guy is still back here? the fuck did that guy go? He climbed all the way up there, for real? Can he really climb up here? He did. He's up. He's right up there. What kind of gun you had on you? Let's go. What's my partner doing back there? Yo, ass in the car, man. Oh, there's his boys again, pulling up on us. Them boys were stupid. Low key, not even low key, high key. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. 
<sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like Facts. we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Hell no. Fuck it, we'll go help. We'll go help, buddy. Out. We'll go help out, guy. K, go ahead with the further. 11K, your 211 is at Angel's Flight, 3rd and Hill Street. 11K, code 3. Angel's Flight. Probably some tourist flashing too much cash. Bruh. We're going down the stairs. I don't care. <laughs> I know y'all hear the sirens, bro. Come on now. What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They, they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. Let's get him. You look like a rat. There you go. LAPD. Cop. Hey, take it away from the car. Stop him, Phil. Got him. Damn, we're fucking cold with it. Phelps don't Car give up. K. Fuck. Fired. The suspect is down at third and hill. It's code four here, but I need an ambulance. 11K, Roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at third and hill street is code four. Code four. That's the guy from the paper. You're behind the wheel. There's the slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Yeah, Fuck you bitch fucking stop. bitch. LAPD. Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL. Phelps, you better. You better pull your gun out and shoot this motherfucker one time. He is not faster than you, Phelps. You are a Marine. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is just some movie this fuck. Is all a big mistake. Bruh, stop running. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? You know we're gonna catch you, right? Right, us or McAfee's boys. You did, you did something. We don't want him to. Ah, we didn't want him to kick us. Cause that's why he stopped. He was gonna kick us. You're at the end of the rope, though. Bishop, that's enough. 
We got nowhere else to go. We got nowhere to go, bro. Oh, I thought we could jump over that shit. Oh shit. I'll be dead if we fail. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Yep, oh, they're already we, here. We Sounds like it. All right, they pulled up. Course, any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Where's my fucking partner at? Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. Oh, I was like, where the fuck did he go? It's this yep. way. Let's grab this gun right, ball right here. Rules. You hear me? There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What do you mean? LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Come on, it's this way. Where the fuck they? Oh. Come on, bruh. Bucko, I see you up there. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Come on. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Where, 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 where? We're following you. This is insanity. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. For the love of God, how many are there? Holy shit. What? Bishop. That is not my fault Bishop died. He wanted to get be right out there in the fucking gunfire. It up. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. We can never keep our fucking hat on. Yeah, Stand bitches. Cover. Stupid bitches. Y'all want to take my fucking hat? They wanna shoot my fucking hat off? You stupid fucks! God, they're everywhere. Oh yeah, but we got our boys in blue back though. How long do you think you can hold out? Hell yeah. Reload that shit, Cole. 
Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. Hell that yeah. Is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Big time justice. You felt such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good Hell work. Hell yeah. Our partner right there, that's our boy. This motherfucker, how'd I know? I had a feeling he was gonna show back up. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. I don't like where this is going. Like jazz cole the hopheads love it sure i guess big bands and we swing, fuck with jazz understand, but this bebop palaver how are you supposed to dance to that don't worry about it man this is phelps leroy be nice to him you'll like this place they treat you right you like a table Leroy. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Damn, this guy's a prick. It was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Whoa. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever do place with me again. Do you hear me? The Either fuck not, is this man's problem? Business. Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. What you just put in her? So what about that drink, boys? What did he just jack her up with? Was that... Was that that her, Ron? Damn. Well, with that being said, we're going to end it right here. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Sub if you're new. When we come back, looks like we've been promoted to homicide. Damn, what? We didn't even... Uh, missed a question. At least it wasn't like the question that fucking... 
could make or break the case like that last one. <sighs> What's your birthday? Happy birthday. Well, well, I don't even know what I'm saying. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.